Hi everybody, good morning. This is Jean here. Jean True Love from True Love Quilts for you. I have been quilting. Um, I actually, I'm working on a, a few small little projects that will um, I'll be showing in a, a couple videos coming up. I had done my little um, my little mug rugs, um, just getting back into my sewing room just a little bit, trying to do easy things. Even though I'm an experienced quilter, um, I enjoy just doing easy projects. Some pro some projects I get stuck into. Um, and just go heck for leather, but I don't know this this um the last year and a half or so I, I just haven't had that desire to to um churn out project after project after project But I'm getting back into my sewing room and enjoying doing little things um, So I, now as you know, I'm doing my dear Jean quilt, which is a sampler quilt It's a medallion quilt to this point Um, I'm making my I've made my Dresden plate my 6 inch my 12 inch and my 24 inch blocks and I've and my um, ended that with my flying geese and as I was saying a lot of you have finished my uh, you have finished your quilt at the 72 inch or however big it measures at the flying geese I'm putting extra blocks around um, I have done this week or this time I'm on block 15 and as you know uh, where we've done more than 15 blocks, but this this time that I'm doing this video I'm making four at a time. Okay, my cutting instructions are for four at a time I must explain to you. This is um, I it's not a beginner's block But I don't think if you're following along to this point. It's it's um That you're beginners that you're beginners. You're probably advanced beginners hopefully if you've come this far if you followed me this far having said that that it's not a beginner's block again if you just break down a block this block does have uh, quite a few components in it it's basically it's not a nine patch but it's uh, three units and I'll show you in a moment I, the reason I've done this this block is because um, in a lot of my quilts, since our last name is True Love, I like to incorporate either in a quilting motif only that I could see, or even a block, or some kind of reference to a heart. And these are my True Love hearts. Okay? I made four at one time. Now, they are basically almost <laughs> a bunch of flying geese and a few strips put together all right the bottom is a the bottom is a flying geese inverted okay and these units here on the top are flying geese but with an extra and you will see that i i used four different fabrics in this block i used two i used the obviously a high contrast and for me i did for have me, i did have my kaif facet pinks and reds and raspberries so I wanted to sort of make a red heart um, but there are four different fabrics three different of the pinks and um, that you can see here with this sort of stripe in the middle a two-tone stripe so I refer to this block with light mediums and dark okay um, the also when I subcut the unit the the first cutting instructions when I subcut them into either four cutting twice on the diagonal or once cutting twice on the diagonal these units you have to be careful to keep in order because there's not a lot of difference between these two what end up as triangles you will see as I go along and when you lay them out I I um, recommend you lay them out as I did on my design board each one before you get to sewing it of course like I always say to do so you can see visually so you can keep track of those little units there you just go slowly and you put you take the, the you do the one you lay out the one then you can figure out the other three sewing is is um you have to be careful because basically again using our the um, dog ears 
that the little triangles you start um, quarter inch in and you you flip a, you have a little triangle quarter inch hanging over you you know that um, by now but this is again I said this is an advanced beginners quilt block um, but if you've done the blocks up to now if you've done all my flying geese you've done all of that um, I think that the majority of you if you are following along still will be able to accomplish these four blocks at once now I am going to be putting in my quilt um, I'm going to be making uh, four more of these maybe not exactly the exact same reds and pinks um, but I am going to be doing another uh, another fabrics of the maybe my gray and white dot background with a darker uh, three other darker prints but in the red because um, so I, I have eight hearts around the border this is the border this is the quilt that we're doing the the uh, border around the, the outside of my quilt and I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out if I can sort of finish my quilt um, at this point or maybe maybe the next one or two videos just making a few more blocks because as you know at this point I'm making multiple blocks and I'm going to be fleshing out my borders I believe I think I said I needed I think I figured out 40 or 44 something like that I'm not quite sure um, blocks all the way around my quilt and then I'm just going to finish with a small a small black and white border um, but I'm going to be fleshing my quilt and my, my last border out with the blocks with um, four patches and simple nine patches just to make it so I can finish it up and um, yeah so I, I've made all oh, well, I've made in um, about about six or seven months a very large sampler quilt uh, quilt along so if you've been following along um, and then we get to the point where we can either send it out to quilt it or I'll show you how I'm gonna quilt mine um, even it being a large quilt um, and then um, you'll have a, uh, you'll have a lovely quilt at the end of the day But I do hope you enjoy these hearts my true love hearts I'm gonna go make four more of them put them around my quilt and um, They turned out pretty good. I, I, I must say there's a few It's a little tricky that to get this quarter inch you really have to go slowly and think where those where those triangles are and where your where your little um, do dog ears are hanging off but you do that and I show you the order in which to do it. There are three units here. There's the top row, there's the center row. Oh, I did want to, I did want to address that. That's right. I have cut these stripes. That's right. I've cut these two strips in the middle here. My medium. I cut them at one and a quarter by six and a half. Okay, six and a half wide. For some reason, I, I, they, they, were, they just were the six and a half, but I think the stitching um, shrunk them a little bit so I'm going to again put a sort of correction you're wanting to cut these strips here at like six and three quarters because why because you you, you can always cut them down I found ever I found three of them a little bit too small they just a hair again just a hair just a hair that can get lost in the seams but just to, to be able to fit this top unit and the bottom unit a little bit better just cut them at six and three quarters and then when you go and uh, measure when you go and hopefully have a ta-da moment which I had a ta-da moment on about two of them not four of them I didn't eh, but it's fine because I it's just a little hair out and I as you and as I and I was saying to Rosetta hi Rosetta I was saying there's a lot more to worry about in life than a quarter inch seam okay please so um they measured almost six and a half inches unfinished here but do remember and I will put that in my cutting instructions remember to cut out these a little bit these two strips a little bit longer and then you can always cut them down um, but to make your block go together a little bit quicker but that's it I hope you are enjoying this I'm enjoying the beautiful weather it was well as in the whole country it was or not in the whole country the western part it was so hot here in Pennsylvania it was it was brutal it was we had a few days of really brutal heat and the humidity the humidity but I'm, I have to say the humidity is broken we had a thunderstorm uh, several nights ago and the humidity is broken and it's absolutely the last few days have been glorious here absolutely glorious um, Ian and Maxwell are um, ripping off our back deck on this house um, and replacing it board by board by board with um, the pressure treated lumber that we've gotten 
Um, so they're out there, but they were, there's, the, the deck is ever so old. The deck was about 45 years old. And whoever put it on had um, the, the long screws every, every like, every foot, <laughs> like, like four of them. <laughs> And Maxwell's job is just to take out all of these long screws. It's so funny. And he was doing it in the heat. And at one point, I'm like, no, 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 come in. Um, so hopefully I'll be getting a new deck, the, the deck boards, um, because it was, it, it was unsightly and um, long overdue. Long, maybe it wasn't, maybe, it, well, maybe it was. Maybe it was a long time ago. Um, our son owns this home. And um, he's like, yeah, go, <laughs> knock yourself out, put a new deck on. <laughs> So um, yeah, that's what we're doing. So um, yeah, it's beautiful here and I hope you are all feeling safe and, and um, have a measure of happiness in your life. And um, I really appreciate everyone who supports me as always. And again, I thank you so very much and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, love from the True Loves everybody. Bye-bye. my four blocks, my four heart blocks, made exactly the same way. Um, that again, as I've explained, I'm going to be putting one on each corner, on each side of my quilt. Um, and this is the cutting instructions. It's quite a lot, but we are making four blocks sort of at once. Well, four blocks, we're cutting four blocks and then sewing them the exact same way. Um, but I, I like the fact that I'm going to have four of the exact same heart blocks, my true love blocks, around my Dear Jean quilt. So for my fabric A, I'm using a light fabric. I'm, we are using four fabrics. We're using a light, a medium, and a dark. Okay, I have two medium prints and my this pink and raspberry is uh, I'm deeming it my dark even though they look slightly darker. But these are two my my two stripes and this is my light and my dark. So for my fabric A, for my light fabric, my white and red polka dot, you're going to be cutting one four and a quarter inch square. Okay, it's one four and a quarter inch square. Then you're going to be cutting four three and seven eighth inch squares and then you're going to be cutting four two and three eighth inch squares okay for my medium for each one of these my little stripe here and my little circles here I have cut four each of my medium print I've cut four one and a quarter inches by six and a half inches Okay, one and a quarter by six and a half, four each for our four blocks. For our, from our fabric C, you are, which I'm calling my dark, my, the biggest part of my heart, I'm cutting one piece, seven and a quarter inches square, a large square, seven and a quarter inches. And then I'm cutting two pieces, four and a quarter inches. Okay? So my large four and a quarter inch light square, I'm going to subcut on the diagonal twice. Okay, I've lined that up. And again, with my rotary cutter, with allowing the blade, so it's just one hair in, into the, um, in here to allow for my blade, I'm putting my ruler point to point, opening my rotary cutter, and without shifting the fabric, Moving my ruler, I'm going to cut it across the diagonal again. That will live, leave me with four triangles. I have um, scratched these four to, uh, three and seven eighth inch squares together, and I'm just going to be cutting these, making sure they're nice and scratched together. I'm going to be cutting four of them. I have a nice sharp blade. Again, I'm going to be cutting these on the diagonal one time, just once. 
hold that real tight go slowly and I've created my triangles I'm going to be doing the exact same thing with my four two and three eighth inch squares these together diagonal to diagonal I have my, my squares. We don't have to subcut our medium fabric. That's just like it's going to be. We are going to be cutting our seven and a quarter inch square, square diagonal yeah. to diagonal, two ways. So I end up with four triangles. Again, I've got my larger ruler, putting it diagonal to diagonal, holding it. And then being careful to lift it so as not to shift my fabric. Diagonal to diagonal. And I'll have made four triangles. So there's my four triangles. And then for my four and a quarter inch darker fabric, dark fabric, again, I'm going to be scratching them together so they're perfectly together I have two of these and these I am going to be cutting twice on the diagonal point to point lift that and then I'm going to turn it and on the diagonal so these are our cutting for our lovely, my lovely heart block. Now I'm going to go get my design board and we're going to put it together. So what I've done is from my piles, I have taken, I've sort of separated them into four um, blocks, my four blocks. I've got my two design boards and I've set out one, two, three blocks from my, um, the, my cut fabrics here. So this is what we're doing. We're going to be taking our large piece that we've cut into quarters. That's the, that's the body of our heart. And then on top of that, we're going to be putting our medium, our medium little stripe here. Okay. And then from the the quarter, the um, larger block, what we're doing is we're putting the bottom half on here to make the bottom half of our light block. And then with our pink here, these um, triangles, they go there to make the top. We have our corner pieces here. And I have one extra. I don't know why had that happened. <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know. But there are my four blocks made Let's see if you can see that yeah these are my four blocks laid out on my design boards exactly the same I am going to do them exactly the As same you see I've set yeah. out my block off of my design board right next to my sewing machine here um, I'm going to create this block in units okay the first unit we're just going to be doing a large flying geese on our bottom okay so just bring this one over here when I make my flying geese I have my pieces cut like so and I'm going to be putting my pretty sides together and with the short side okay with the short side following that bottom line right there really nice and my long edge matching up there and hanging off a quarter of an inch. Remember our quarter of an inch. That's what gives us our quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to put my needle down, quarter of an inch in. Okay, press the foot down. This is nice and straight with my quarter inch hanging over. And I'm going to stitch a quarter of an inch. Making sure I have my quarter inch little dog ear and my needle is going to go right down into that intersection let me see if this is on right down into that intersection okay bring my needle up I'm gonna pinch so I don't get around my scissors here so I don't stress that seam okay and here's the beginning of our 
flying geese unit. Now, what I am going to do, just like we do in, with all of our flying geese, I'm going to just sort of finger press this seam here. It's on the bias, so be very careful. Just finger press that with the seam going towards the dark, okay? With our other piece of our unit, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to make sure that this short edge is lined up really nice and square with that block. And there you see my dog ear, my little triangle hanging off. So I'm going to bring that out. Oops, <laughs> I'm trying to work around my tripod. I'm going to put my needle down right in that intersection there. My knee and my uh, press her foot down, keeping these edges nice and together. And I'm going to stitch a quarter of an inch. Right off. Then, then what I am going to be doing, and there, there's my lovely flying geese unit, which is the bottom of our heart. If you remember when we made flying geese, you've done this now a million times. What I'm going to do is I am going to go over to my ironing board and I'm going to set these seams and I'm going to be pressing. Remember our flying geese, this seam gets pressed over. It doesn't get go like, it doesn't go like that. It gets pressed so that that triangle then becomes straight across the top. The seams are going right in to the dark edge, okay? So I'm going to go over and I'm going to go I'm going to go press that. So as you see, I've ironed that nicely and that's straight across. I'll just put that aside. Now I'm going to take my two one and a quarter inch by six and a half inch and I'm just going to sew them right down one edge, quarter of an inch. I keep hitting my tripod here. <laughs> Just a quarter of an inch. Making sure these edges are nice and together. Just go slowly on this. Because there are quite a few pieces in it. But it makes up a, such a pretty heart. And with all the cutting, you've done four at one time. I like that, having a heart on each side of my quilt. That I can just finger press. I can just finger press that and we'll just put that to the side here. Okay. Now, actually, I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to work on this right here. My top, my top unit. Okay. My top of my heart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the corners away and all we're going to do is we're going to sort of make a, a double flying geese unit here. Okay. But what we're going to do is I'm going to just take Put that one aside for a second and I'm going to put the pretty side to the pretty side and do the exact same thing what we did. I'm lining the short edge up and as you can see it's not quite hmm might be a little bit should be a quarter of an inch if we've cut it well maybe I didn't cut that as well but there's a little dog ear hanging on the top there and a little dog ear hanging off the bottom there that's what you want okay so right now there's that I want the little dog ear I'm not going right out to the end I'm, I'm having that dog ear at the top that little piece of triangle and a little triangle hanging off this end I'm going right into that intersection okay Okay, that's what it looks like. And again, this one, I'm going to be pushing the dark to the light because now I'm going to be doing that side of my flying geese. So with this seam pressed, finger pressed to the inside, it's okay. I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to put the pretty side over with a quarter inch hanging off on the light and a quarter inch hanging off of the dark. Lining that side edge up, I'm going to put my needle down in that little intersection, quarter of an inch seam. My needle goes right down to the, the intersection of that seam. Pinch it and pull it. And there is a lovely once I iron it, there's my lovely quarter inch up there. You see that? Okay. 
my heart goes this way. My seams are going that way into the into the light. And now configure it again. I'm going to put my one corner. Remember our heart goes, this is the peak of our heart. I'm going to take my little triangle and I'm going to line up the bottom of this triangle with the bottom of my heart here. And that means I'm going to have a triangle, a little dog ear triangle hanging off the end. Line that edge up nicely. And don't be tempted to make a I, I say this because we're working with smaller pieces. Don't be tempted to make a smaller seam. Stick to your quarter of an inch. And there you go. When we push that one over, there is my lovely straight edge there. Okay? That seam is going to the middle, into the light. I configure my other corner. I do the exact same thing. Pretty side, I'm lining that bottom edge up to the bottom. Then I have that dog ear hanging off. Just take it slow, step by step, and I think even a beginner could do this. Now remember, this seam is coming towards me. That seam is coming towards me, and I have that little tri. There's a triangle there, and there's a triangle here, and I'm going to go right that little intersection there right there pinch and pull so as not to stress that seam and there hopefully there is our top unit for our heart now I am going to go over and I'm going to press this I'm going to press this I'm going to press this so these seams so these dog ears go straight with the top edge. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to iron this really well. So I've actually ironed this one and my second unit here and my third unit. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to, with, with the right sides together, the pretty sides together, I'm going to flip this one over. I know I still have my dog ears there, but that's okay. I'm going to line that up. I'm going to do it on the, I'm going to sew it on the inside. So when I come to this heart here, the bit, the seam here, I can see where if I don't cut off my little point there. Oops. Again, my dog ears hanging off and I can see where my point is. Keep my quarter of an inch. This is a little, this is slight, uh, yeah, I think I cut that off. That, that wasn't quite quarter of an inch, my little, my little heart point there. Oh, that's okay. And then right off, I think I cut my little point off there. But again, it's okay. Let me see there. Yeah, that's okay. When you look at it, you see pink heart. That's fine. And then I'm going to configure it, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to put my bottom bit on. The exact same way. I have my dog ears hanging off, as you can see. Quarter of an inch. right off this one and um, make sure trim it up and make sure I have a bit of a ta-da moment with this one so as you can see I've already made all four of my blocks and I've trimmed these up and they're not they're not perfect um, they're, they're slightly there's a quarter inch there just slightly off a little bit I'm just going to be telling you in the beginning make these these are six and a half, but make them a little bit bigger. I will have addressed that maybe at six and three quarters. You can, because I have found that this six and a half inch sort of gets taken up. And this bit here on all of them has been slightly just a little bit small, taken up with the um, stitching, just, just a sixteenth of an inch or so. So now what I'm going to do, my last one that I'm doing, they pretty much match up, except again, this, um, this, these two middle stripes right across there um there's it's slightly small so i'm just going to trim it up oops just trim that up slightly for the most part i have pretty much a quarter of an inch maybe not quite a quarter of an inch um on all of them 
Um, so I have to be very careful. Again, this one, just a little bit. But for the most part, just take that little bit corner off. For the most part, oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> Oops, let me put it up here. Yeah, there are my four, my four lovely blocks. Uh, two of them, two of them I put the, the bottom over here, then this print there, and that the print go, went up there. But for the most part, they're identical. Oh, they're so pretty. Yeah, lovely. So I'm going to have one on each side of my Dear Jean quilt. Again, um, you might want to just take it steady. Really think about these triangles when you're going to put them on your design board because you can sort of, you know, get confused because the, the, when you, you've subcut them, um, they, you know, they, they're almost, they almost look the same size, these two here. But um, you can figure that out, make your four piles. I think it was very advantageous to put them on my design board um, and I, as I always do and it's not hard they're not hard you just want to um, and I will have addressed this in the beginning it's very important I think to have your iron right nearby and iron each unit as you go don't try to not iron it like a lot of the times I'm like oh just finger press it no you're going to iron this bottom unit here so it's nice after you've made that and again I think to a great extent my backs look as good as my fronts yeah this one this one the dog ears are a little bit hanging off um i think i will trim that dog ear that seam i pushed down whereas these ones i pushed up but for the most part um i my backs look quite nice they're laying nice and flat and um yeah nice i've made four almost identical blocks at, at one time so it's a little not a marathon just want you know take it steady but um, yeah, for the, for the price of one, there you go. You got four. So I hope you enjoy this, folks. And again, I'll put this up. I'll put that up. Your cutting instructions. Just be real careful um, putting them on your design board. You get four. All right. Hope you enjoyed it, folks. Again, love from the true loves. Bye.